They say women are from Venus. If so, these girls are dying to know more. That's Venus? That's Venus. That's like a little half moon. Whoa. Oh, I do see it. They are seeing the solar system like never before at the Chabot Space and Science Center in Oakland, California. It's hands-on, it's not textbook, and it's not a teacher lecturing you about something. It's more you get to do what you want to do. 21 Bay Area 6th through 10th graders spent a week studying the heavens and designing video games as part of Universe Quest. It's a National Science Foundation funded project aimed at getting girls hooked not just on Venus, but on scientific exploration. So what we're going to learn about today is requesting images from a telescope. This is a digital camera that fits on the back of a telescope. Just like we have lines of longitude going up and down from north to south, if you extend those lines out into space, we now have what's called a celestial sphere. The goal is to let them figure things out for themselves. That might involve converting numbers into a picture of a constellation, or wearing filter glasses to determine what color an object is in outer space. Big one, pass it around. Carl Pennypacker is the man in charge. He's an astrophysicist at the University of California Berkeley Space Sciences Lab. The longtime educator says a big part of good teaching these days is keeping up with the technology that kids embrace with such ease. And I think unless we, again, we sort of use some of the language that is so intrinsic to their day-to-day -day life, it's, it, we're working on much lower efficiency. So again, games, computers, technology. Things like a Skype video conference with astronomer Dara Norman at the National Optical Astronomy Observatory in Tucson. There is energy around a black hole, but there's no light radiating out from it. It's all trapped within the confines of the black hole. She explained how a career studying black holes and dark matter can be exotic and challenging. In other words, math and science can lead to great adventures. One of the most interesting, coolest places that I probably never would have gotten to go except for my job was, uh, was going to St. Petersburg, Russia. Also, I got a chance to live in South America, uh, to live in another culture for five years. All right, good luck, guys. I love space a lot. I have been studying it since I was born, basically. I love space. It's like the best. No summer camp is complete without a little time to play. But why miss a teachable moment? At Golden Gate Recreation Area, the girls created seesaws from driftwood. And that prompted some impromptu physics lessons. I think that in elementary school, from grades K through 5, Boys and girls are really interested in science, but I think that something happens in the middle school. Sharon Parker is co-founder of the ASA Community Science Center in Oakland, where Universe Quest programs are also held during the school year. She said the all-girl summer camp builds confidence. So programs like this allow girls to just be with a group of girls and to really ask questions, especially the ones who might not have asked questions before. The boys come jumping up there and take center stage don't leave much space for women to blossom. So this is kind of, we're sort of creating, I think, a safe, fertile ground for them to, to discourse, to dialogue, to see the things that really matter to them. The Girl Scouts of Northern California are also partners in Universe Quest. We hope that as the program progresses, we'll, the girls will be able to communicate with other students throughout the world. The students also worked on creating their own video games. Good preparation for a whole range of 21st century jobs. Many of these young women already have plans for a science-related career. Not um, astronomy, but I would like to become a dermatologist. An engineer or OBGYN doctor between the two. Something science field. I want to be a marine biologist, which is totally different from astronomy, but I've always loved it. I think it's amazing. Not that we want to produce a million astronomers, but if we can produce a million kids who love science, technology, engineering in the future, I think that'd be a, a really good thing for, all, for the world. Whatever they end up doing, they have learned the most important lesson of all. There's a whole universe of options out there, and there's no good reason to put limits on their quest. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.